Hey, I'm Becky Donaldson. I'm the Cleveland Museum of Natural History's Menor Marsh Naturalist, and welcome to Menor Marsh. This is the trail that we would be hiking on our Bald Eagle Fest. This is the Zimmerman Trail, part of the Buckeye Trail that circles around the whole state of Ohio. And we have two miles of the Buckeye Trail that travel through this part of the marsh. Um, we're right on the upland forest on the edge of the marsh, and the Bald Eagles are about half a mile, three quarters of a mile east of us um, across the marsh. And uh, we would traditionally, although we're not doing it this year, lead about 300 people down this trail to see the bald eagle nest from our overlook along the rim of the marsh. And we take spotting scopes so we'd have better optics to see across the marsh. But this is one of the stops that we'd stop at along the way, where we'd stop and talk about uh, forest biodiversity. And Manor Marsh is one of the first state nature preserves that went through the system in 1971. We also have a national natural landmark designation that was bestowed upon the marsh in 1959. And that was a pretty special designation because we were the most species rich forested area along the shore of shores of the Great Lakes. And when we look around at the, this upland forest, we'd stop and talk about, we could name a dozen trees right here. Combined with what used to be a swamp forest out in the marsh, we had 50 species of shrubs and trees that used to survive here at Minor Marsh. So that's why we got that designation. We would stop and talk about uh, spring ephemerals on the forest floor, all the way up to these big towering, um, massive red oaks. So here's our Eagle Watch spot. We're right at the corner of the Zimmerman Trail, looking east across the marsh, across this big watery expanse filled with ducks. We're here in mallards and wood ducks and see some geese and there's birds everywhere. But all the way across the marsh is our eagle nest. And it's very easy to see from State Route 44, but you can't stop along 44 to view it. So we advise people to come on out here. And this is where we gather all of our Eagle Fest visitors in this area. And we have a couple scopes and binoculars, and people get to ask questions about the bald eagle nest. and. So with this virtual Bald Eagle Fest that we're doing right now, uh, we are not seeing any heads pop out of the nest yet, but usually it's around the beginning of May that they're large enough that they can hold their head up, that we see them moving and active. And the eagle just came to the nest now. Uh, that they're active and we can watch feeding behaviors. And so we've got two, two bald eagles over here, both adults. And this is their 11th year of nesting here at Manor Marsh. And they've been successful 10 out of the 11 years and produced, I think it's 16 eaglets out of this nest. And bald eagles can lay between one to three eggs. And we fledged one eagle one year, two eaglets fledged out of the nest all the other years, except for one year we had fledged three eaglets out of this nest. So this is a pretty popular spot to even see all age bald eagles. Um, but look everywhere around the marsh. There's ample food resources here. So we'll see everywhere from one-year-old eagles who are mostly dark colored, all the way up to this really speckled two and three-year-old, speckled white and lots of brown, to the four-year-olds that have some white on their heads and tails to these adult bald eagles too. So uh, last week we had seven eagles that were viewed right up at Shipman Pond at the north end of Manor Marsh. So this is a pretty fantastic place. Um, great habitat for lots of different kinds of animals and waterfowl. And there goes a great blue heron flying across the marsh. So great blue herons are one of those big birds in the sky that sometimes might be mistaken for bald eagles. They have about the same size wingspan. Of course, you could usually see the legs sticking out behind the big blue heron, but they have really slow wing beats. So when you see that behavior, that will help you pick out that, no, that's not a bald eagle. And then the turkey vultures too, with their, also have about the same wingspan too, but they have upturned wings, V for vulture, and you see them do this a lot. They do lots of soaring and tipping, V for vulture, and bald eagles fly with this flat, flat wings. So that'll catch your attention so we're not holding the Bald Eagle Fest this year. This is our virtual Bald Eagle Fest, but we invite you to come out and visit our trails. You can hike here any day of the year. 
uh, follow the museum's social media where you can get updates on our bald eagles and um, enjoy what we have to offer here at Winter Marsh. <laughs>